Hi, this is PC Roger, and welcome to this short video where I want to show you how to convert a partition to NTFS from FAT32. As you can see, we have this hard drive here. It has been formatted as FAT32, and you can tell that uh, just that I just named it FAT32. Let's take a look here at the actual properties, and you can see the file system here is FAT32. That's where it's uh, going to tell us. This, again, is just really a label. So if you right-click the drive, and select Properties. Right here on the General tab, it will show you the file system, FAT32. Now, this video is about converting to NTFS, and there are a couple of reasons why you might want to, and there's some debate on a little bit of this, but if the uh, partition has greater than 8 gigabytes in size, then you'll probably save space because of NTFS being more efficient. Another reason you might want to change is that uh, FAT32 has a file limit of 4 gigabytes, and especially with big uh, maybe backup files or, or video files of some kind or another, uh, 4 gigabyte may not be enough, and uh, by converting to NTFS, you can go larger than that. But NTFS is also faster, and it is far more secure if security is an issue for you. So in order to convert from FAT32 to NTFS, I want to go to a command prompt, which I have uh, conveniently on the desktop. But if not, you can look and start, Programs, Accessories, and they normally bury it right here. I move it. Uh, but uh, another way you can get it is by just going from Start to Run, just typing a CMD. And again, we are on Windows XP here, so it can vary with uh, different operating systems. And here you have a command prompt. Now from a command prompt, you can type in convert forward slash question mark and you can get the uh, help text here. We're going to convert, the volume is F in this particular instance, and we're going to put the uh, file system NTFS, and there are some other options we can use but we don't really need them, and just hit enter. Uh, here it's asking for a confirmation. We know what the volume label is. It is FAT32. That's what we've named it. And it's going to do some checking on the drive before it does anything else. Now one thing I want to point out here is that if you have files on the drive, there has to be adequate space. Now if you try this, this is a small 10 gig drive. If you try this with say 5 gig used, it would probably fail. But uh, for data that you do have on here, you will not lose it. But as I always like to say, back up first, you never know what can happen. Uh, Murphy's Law, you know, certainly uh, worst things that will happen at the worst possible time. So uh, back up if there's anything important on there. But I have never seen a uh, file, or I should say data loss from, uh, from this conversion. And there the conversion is complete. You can close that and double check here. And it still says FAT32 again, that is the label and I can change that. Properties and see file system is NTFS. And I just changed the label so it would reflect that. That's all there is to this video. This is, uh, again, not a really, really a debate as to why you would want to uh, convert from FAT32 to NTFS, although I did mention a few advantages, but merely wanted to show you how to do it. Thanks for watching. Please stop by my website, www.pcroger.com. Have a lot of other helpful information, blog, free newsletter, other videos. Hope to see you there.